Right, on the line then for the first action of the afternoon, Auto Cadets and Cadets to beat number 27, adding number 3, Ronnie Topping. For race number 1, over 3 laps. So the start of the 2010 grass track season is about to take place on this uh, chilly but thankfully dry afternoon. Right, takes for up, we were able to first race of the afternoon then, and as they come by 41st on it, Edmund Best has got the third lead, and uh, number 18 has gone through into second place, as they race into that top corner. Carly Bickley, of course, uh, all the way from Workington has come to race this this afternoon. He holds that to second place. Here's Edmund Best already the clear leader going up the back straight for the first time. Looks like Tom Brennan's gone through into the second place position. They race into that pitch corner for the first time. It is uh, Edmund Best. Well, clear at the front. Keeps that leg down with grip. Sliding grip coming off that top corner. Clear at the front then from Tom Brennan. He's in second place. Carly Bickley has got the third place position all the way from Workington to race with us this afternoon, Anders Rowe has gone through into four, it's Leo Dummett in fifth place, that's a five as they go up the back straight once again, Edmund Best again well, clear at the front, the two British champions at the front, the uh, cadet champion, Edmund Best leads the race from the auto cadet champion, Tom Brennan holding that second place position, number one just coming past us, Ethan Topping there, complete that lap, as the last lap flag goes out and four, Edmund Best clear at the front from Tom Brennan holding that second place position, Carly Bickley is in third. Anders Rowe in four, Leo Dummett in five, and Ethan Topping is in sixth place. That's a six. It's Edmund Best up the back straight for the pummel timing. Race number one, the first race of the uh, 2010 season. So the uh, reigning champion looks like making a cracking start in the first race of the uh, afternoon. And in the, oh, does he? Is Edmund Best just about to take the checkered flag? Can he get it across the line or will uh, Tom Brennan get the winning ride? Tom Brennan gets the winning ride in fact. So drama there for Edmund Best. Can he get it pushed across the line? Number one of course is a lap down. Edmund Best frantically pushing towards the line as number 18. Bickley comes across the line in second. Edmund Best picks up the third. Followed by Anders Rowe. And number 19, Leo Dummett. So drama straight away in the first race there with the cadet British champion, Edmund Best, the race at his mercy, dropped it about 10 yards from the finishing line. Race one then, drama to start off the 2010 season. A win for number seven, Tom Brennan. Second, number 18, Carl Bickley. And third, number 35, Edmund Best. Six. 19 and number one. One minute 41.9. One minute 41.9. Right, race number two then. Delete number 26, Luke Harris. Had in 78, Kieran Hicks. 112, Ashton Webb. 22, Kieran Vaughan. And 151, Stefan Anderson. Those are the additions to race number two. Up on the line then for the first seat on the junior action one of the riders moving up to the cadet class the riders junior in the 2010 season and the platform will also come by the first time 
Marcus Max Combs, of course, one in Jack Soul Bright, number 81. Max Corns leads going into that top corner. That bite net making the move round the outside. Gets round the outside. Max Corns lead going up the back straight for the first time. Then it's fighting the leads. Corns now coming under pressure for that second place position. He's still holding that second place by holding on to the inside line. But that bite net, a superb style coming off that top corner. Easily to complete lap number one then. It's Max Corns coming into the lead. Callum Walker looking for that second place on Max Corns, they race into that bottom corner once again, Max Corns on the inside, Callum Walker making the move round the outside to go through into the second position, as it is, Zap fighting it well, cleared the front from Walker holding that second, Corns has got the third, that's the uh, top three, Corns again trying to get back to on the into the Walker, they go into that top corner once again, Zap fighting it, pulling well clear at the front from Walker now holding that second place, Corns has got the third. Number left, Ross Williams is in third place, followed by Ashton Webb in five. Kieran Hicks is in six. Kieran Bourne is in seven. Jack Dummett is in eight. That's the top eight. And as we see the leader, Zach Point get really stretching that lead to front, about to take the last lap flag in pressure. Just for young Zach there, he leads on to lap four. Well clear of Callum Walker holding that second place. And Max Corms has got the third. Ashton Webb now moves up to fourth. Well, again, in Ross Williams to five. They're on the last lap this time, and as that point is in amongst the back markers, as Walker's got the second, Corns in third, Webb's up to four, Williams in five, Hicks has got six, Vaughan is in seven, Dummett in eight, that's still the top eight, and uh, that point an impressive race winner of race number two. Second place. Ready for to come across the line in second place, such a big lead there for uh, Zach Vitenet. Callum Walker has picked up the second place. Max Corns in third. Ross Williams and Ashton Webb cross the line together. We'll leave that one for the lap scorers there, followed by Kieran Hicks. Kieran Vaughan and Jack Dummett. Result of race two, a win for 109, Zach Bynet. Second number 82, Callum Walker. And third number 81, Max Corns. 11, 112, 78, 22, 9, and 53. 1 minute 47, exactly. 1 minute 47, exactly. Race 3, delete number 17, adding 181 Matt Saul, 721 Sam Radley Smith, and 23, Lloyd Barrett. Coming up then for the seat of seniors and intermediates. Well, I think we start at Summit. Summit is going to come out in the next turn. British champion, that's Oliver Green with leads going in to that top corner for the first time. Big sort out coming out of that bottom corner, but Oliver Greenwood gets the grip going up that back straight for the first time. Three abreast going there for second place. Change of vision looks like Lloyd Barrett's gone through into that third place. As we see Oliver Greenwood on the pitch corner for the uh, first time then. Impressive stuff from the uh, current champion. Second and third place, Ravis just goes to on the inside balance. Trying to come again, Billy Milton holds that fifth place. Matt Saw starting to work his way to field to go into sixth place. As the leader goes up the back straight once again, Oliver Green with clear. Bradley Smith in second, Lloyd Barrett in third. Now coming under pressure for that third place, tremendous action for the minor place. Looks like Matt Saw has gone through on the inside. As Oliver Greenwood is still the leader for Bradley Smith holds that second place. Can't be a number of them all in third place, that's your fact. Then followed by Maxwell, then James Shanes, then Billy Milton, then Jack Corns, and then 1-1-0. Oh. That's the one as they go into that pitch corner once again. It's still Oliver Greenwood clear at the front, and Sam Bradley Smith holding that second place. Trying to get the number of the third place. Oliver Greenwood clear on to that corner. But Bradley Smith holding that second place. Listen, just cannot see the number of that third place. Maxwell is in fourth, James Shanes is in five. Lloyd Barrett drops back to six, Billy Milton is in seven, and Jack Corns in eighth place. That's the top eight then, as Oliver Greenwood out of that pitch corner for the final time. Impressive stuff in race number three. Oliver Greenwood gets the uh, winning line. Second place in Sam Bradley Smith. Just cannot see where he's in third. It's uh, Matt Ball in four, James James in five, 
Lloyd Barrett in six, Billy Milton in seven, Jack Combs in eight, and 110 in ninth place. Super action there in race number three, a win for 311, Oliver Greenwood. Second number 721, Sam Radley Smith. And the impressive rider in third place, of course, was number 13, Nathan Stoneman. 181, 93, 23, 7, 81, and 110. Winning time. 1 minute 42.70, 1 minute 42.70, race 4, delete 11 and 16, for in number 58, Nick Mallet. Coming into line then for race number four, the first heat of the adult solo open. Rider on two minutes for race number four. The machine has given up the go, so we go on with race number four then. Right in the grip as we're starting our course for the top of the the Craig Drury leads going up the back straight the first time Adam Filmer has gone through in that second place position Dean Cutler has gone through in the third that's the top three as he race up the back straight for the first time the number ten Craig Drury the race leader coming right a complete lap number one Adam Filmer trying to close the gap down in second place He's starting to work his way to the field, looking for that fourth plate, takes a wide line around the outside of that bottom corner, still back in fifth, looking to get improved to go through in the fourth place. It's still Craig Jory, impressively at the front, Adam Filmer holding that second place position. And there goes Nick Mallet now, moving into fourth place and looking for third. It's really needs to put it up with the Filmer holding second, up the top of third, Mallet in fourth. Well clear at the front from Filmer holding that second, Cutler's got the third, Mallet gets closer with every turn of the wheel, Barry Young still there in fifth place, he's now coming under pressure for that fifth place position, as it is Craig Drury leads him on to that fourth, Filmer holds that second. In third with Mallet still looking to move on that fourth place position. Young has got the fifth place. Number 18 is in sixth. That's the top six. Craig Jory clear coming up the back straight. In amongst the back markers now as they go into that top corner on lap number four. Impressive stuff coming up for number ten. Young Craig Jory, he gets the winning ride. Second place is Adam Filman. Third place goes to the front What's up to Nick Mallet? He's trying to coast the bike home. He looks absolutely filled in with mud there and obviously a few machine problems on that last corner. Race four, impressive win there for number 10, Craig Drury. Second number 24, Adam Filmer. 
And third, number 57, Dean Cutler. 23, 18, 58, 19, 28, 12, 3, and number 1. 1 minute 43.2, 1 minute 43.2 seconds. Race 5, delete 116, 212, 69, 313. Add in 328, Tony Nash, 333, Richard Andrews, and 54, Ben Isley. For the first time, it's still a 191 Trebe with the advantage going up that back straight. You see Nick Mullet pushing the bike back across the middle after a machine problem on that last half of the previous race. Somebody's run a wall through to pick up that second place. Three, three, three. Andrew, of course, gone through in the second place. Good one over Richard Andrew on the inside, but still Heath has the advantage going up the back straight. Andrew's trying to close the gap in second place. He's still pulling away from the third place. Well, they make the work of the back straight once again. It's still Heath who has the advantage, but Andrew's holding the second place position. Equal distance between these two is a complete lap number two then. Result to win for 191, Trevor Heath. Second, 333, Richard Andrews. And third, 111, Kevin Williams. 171, 921, 82, 33, 189, and 35. 1 minute 42.6, 1 minute 42.6, there will be no race 6 of course, it's straight into race 7, first heat of the 500 sidecars, Aidan Kingsmill is a passenger for Josh Goodwin, Nathan Hibbs a passenger for Mark Hopkins, Natasha Barclay behind Gary Southgate, and of course the new outfit of 174, Rob Gregory and Richard Chamberlain.
Hey, pitch on the line then for the first hit of the 500 side cars on a two interesting combination. The pack is taking over to the red flag. Red flag is out for the first hit of the 500. Red flag is out. So coming back in the line then for the restart of race number seven. So a bit of a clutch problem now, we're going to have a dragging start there, uh, or a bit of a ragged start anyway. Some get away, some do not get away. It's a very ragged start indeed, and it's uh, number 57. Mark Hopkins has got the advantage, it's uh, Gary Southgate not particularly quick away, but he's moving into third place as somebody goes wide on that bottom corner. Gary Southgate trying to get through on the inside, but Mark Hopkins used the past, of course, behind Mike Reed. He's a leader going up the back straight for the uh, first time, coming under pressure now. Been two outfits in the entry to that pitch corner. But it's Mark Hopkins and Nathan Hibbs talking about the second place is number 18, Robin Trevor Heath, but Gary Southgate in third, John Goodwin is in fourth, 174, Rob Gregory is in five, and Brian Chapman in sixth place. That's a six. They go up the back straight once again then. It's Mark Hopkins and Nathan Hibbs stolen a march at the front. They each hang on to that second place. Gary Southgate trying to close the gap there in third. They're getting away from Josh Goodwin, who's got the fourth place. Going in that bottom corner, he still holds that second. Gary Southgate trying to improve upon that third. It's Josh Goodwin holding the four. Well, Gregory is in five. Brian Chapman holds the sixth place position as they race down off the back straight once again. Then it is still Mark Hopkins and Nathan Hibbs who have the advantage in outfit number 57. Gary Southgate closes for that second place outfit onto that four. Hopkins with the advantage, Edwin Heath holding that second. Southgate has got the third. It's uh, Goodwin in four. Chapman now has moved, now moved through into five, relegating Gregory to six. And it is Mark Hopkins and Nathan in to lead, going up the back straight and into that pitch corner for the final time in race number seven. Mark Hopkins and Nathan in. Robert Trevor is picked up the second. Gary Southgate is in third. Josh Goodwin in fourth. Brian Chapman 5 and Rob Gregory 6th place. Race 7 result to win for number 57, Mark Hopkins and Nathan Hibbs. Second number 18, Robin Trevor Heath. And third number 44, Gary Southgate and Natasha Barclay. Three. 99 and 174. 1 minute 45.3. 1 minute 45.3. Race 8. Number 1 will be Stephen Nash. Running with race number eight, the first seat of the quad, the full number of the quad, the cross seat, the start of the quad, the number seven, the number of the quad, 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 the
That's the front. We can't the number of the second place. Number quad number eight has gone through into fourth place. Sheila Downs has gone through in the fourth, but it is. Uh, John Elliott clear going up the back straight for the first time. Big sorted on that first corner. We'll pick the numbers they come into view as they come by the commentary box at the completion of lap number one. But it is John Elliott who's not the advantage yet. Car number five. And Steve Fancy has gone through in his second place. Can't number, number two is in third. That's Colin Hill. Former sidecar passion, of course. Now on the quad, he holds that third place position. Number nine, looking looking to work his way through. Mark Ramsdale now picks up that fourth place, but gets relegated back to uh, fifth place. Good race going on for fourth and fifth places. As uh, number seven, John Elliott is still in the march at the front, and Steve Pantley holding that second place position. It's still Colin Hill, who has got the third. Nine, Mark Ramsdale is in fourth. Number eight is in sixth place, that's Sheila Downton, but it's uh, John Elliott really getting away at the front then from still Steve Pantry holding that second place. We lost a quad on that bottom corner. Number seven, John Elliott, clear on to lap number four. From number five, Steve Pantry still there in second place. Mark Ramsdale has got the third. Just cannot see the number of that fourth place outfit. Number eight is Sheila Downton. So the leader then coming off this uh, top corner uh, wins the first hit of the quad. Number eight, John Elliott gets the winning ride. Second is number five, Steve Pantry. Third place goes to number nine, Mark Ramsdale. Right, the quads, we just cannot read some of those numbers, we know it's not your problem. We're not exactly sure who finished in third and fourth place in that race, so if you'd like to come down and tell us, you will get your points, but we're not exactly sure, and if you can improve the numbers in any way, it will be greatly appreciated. It's a win for number seven, John Elliott. Second number five, Steve Pantry. We're not exactly sure for third and fourth, and fifth was number eight. That is, of course, Gila Downton. Winning time, 1 minute 37.3. Fastest time today, 1 minute 37.3. So if the riders have finished third and fourth in that race can send somebody down to the uh, caravan, please, we just simply couldn't pick out the numbers.
Right, the result, we can give you third place was number nine, Mark Ramsdale, and fourth place was number one, the previous race. Race number nine, then. Roger Windy back out, Richard. Uh, number six here. Andy Heapman leads going inside to top corner for the first time. Rachel Mother Song there out as the fairy in their fifth place. So they got the back straight once again, three abreast. Four second, third and fourth places. But again, it's uh, Heapman who's stolen a march up the front. He's got a clear lead already. The pursuing three riders look bunching up the second, third and fourth place again, coming off that fifth corner. But it's Heapman who's got the advantage then. From uh, number 18, Andy Butler's gone through in the second. 22, Jim Penfold is in third. And that's the top one. Somebody's completely turned it round in a circle. That's number eight, and Andy Butler. He was in second place. He's gone around in a circle on that bottom corner. Obviously lost that second place. And that's allowed Andy Heatman to increase his lead. Up the front, he's a clear leader. Cuts the brilliant lap number two. Heatman leads him then from... Number 22, that's still old Jim Penfold holds that second. Can't say number of a third. Rachel Mothersold is in fourth place. Number 11 is in five, and again, no number on the outfit in six plates. So they go into the uh, pits corner on lap number three, and coming on the start, lap four this time then, and the Eastman well clear up the front. Should be Jim Penfold hanging on to that uh, second place. Yes, it is, Jim Penfold holding on to that second. No number for the third. Make sure Mother Soul is in four. 18, and the Butler is in five, and number 11 in six plates. So number 60, Andy Eatman gets the uh, winning ride. It's going to be Jim Penfold to come to pick up the second place position. Three to eight, comes across the line in third, that's Tony Nash. Followed by Rachel Mothersole in four, 18 in five, and 11 in six place. Race 9 resolved to win for number 60, Andy Heatman. Second number 22, Jim Penfold. And third, 3 to 8, Tony Nash. 20, 18, and number 11. 1 minute 37.3, exactly the same time as the previous heat for the quads. Right, race 10, first hit in the big chair, delete number 4. Tony Cook will be number 67 with Dan Crawford in the chair. Delete 16. And the reserve comes in, number 3, Andy Gribble, Nicky Owen in the chair. Revving up then for the first heat of the uh, big chairs. start again there the chairs so uh, it takes burst again so again problems over on that far side for the big chair you mark it this pulled up the middle of the track so obviously problems there for outfit number one two four before we even get the first race the big chair we get away this time as Andy Gribble from the outside making a cracking start we've only got Three chairs going out this time, so Andy Gribble leads going to the back straight for the first time. So Joe Truman has gone through 
in the second is that Tony Cook on his day won the thousand sidecars in third place yes it is as Andy Gribble and Nicky Owen they're the ladies come putting lap number one then from uh, Tony Cook turns it round in a big circle on that bottom corner Tony of course first outing on the uh, thousand sidecars after many many years on the 500s of course Joe Truin consolidating that uh, second place as Andy Gribble and Nicky Owen well cleared the front going into that bottom corner on lap number two for the big chairs and it's still the Joe Truin in second Tony Cook has got the third so Gribble needs going into that uh, Pitts corner once again and Truin holding that second place Bishop Tony Cook is back in third place they go to the back straight once again getting pretty well spread out now in the first heat of the chairs of course uh, Tony Cook and I say after many years on the uh, 500 has got to get used to big chair but Andy Gribble and Nicky Owen one of the top crews in the country making it look pretty easy there at the front from uh, Joe Truman and Duncan Patton doing a good job in that second place position got um, Tony Cook and Dan Crawford in third and Tony Cook could well be lapped as he goes into that bottom corner the last lap flag being made ready then for outfit number three the outfit of Andy Gribble and Nicky Owen the leaders in this uh, first race of the big chairs they come up the inside of Tony Cook there but uh, I think Andy Gribble looking across and Tony Cook obliged and he goes wide Andy Gribble slips to on the inside it's still Joe Truman who's got the uh, second and uh, Tony Cook in third, there's Andy Gribble, Nicky Owen into the uh, bottom corner. So, number three, Andy Gribble, Nicky Owen win the first heat of the big chairs. Second place goes to number 26, Joe Truman and Duncan Patton. And third place will be uh, number 67, Tony Cook and Dan Crawford. Eventually we get a result for race 10 then, a win for number 3, Andy Gribble and Nicky Owen. Second number 26, Joe Truin and Duncan Patton. And third number 67, Tony Cook and Dan Crawford. 1 minute 34.9. 1 minute 34.9. Race 11, of course, auto cadets and cadets will be over three laps. Up and running then with the CW auto cadets and the cadets. And as well, Megan O'Clock in style has been best again. Comes from the back place to lead and Tom Brennan has slipped through on the inside to go through in the second place. His best lead even Brennan in second. Rowe has got the third. That's the top three. They pick their way rather gingerly going up that back straight off the drama, of course, of heat number one with uh, Edmund Best dropping it just yards from the line. He leads going into that pitch corner. Tom Brennan not too far behind, of course, on the little auto cadet machine. So uh, good action between these two. It's Edmund Best leads him and Tom Brennan holding the second place position. Number 18, Carl Bickley has gone through into third. Well, Anders Rowe now relegated to four. Bonnie Topping is in five, Leo Dummett is in six, and Ethan Topping is in seventh place. That's the sevens. The two leaders getting away at the front. Edmund Best leads it, but Tom Brennan definitely closed the gap on Edmund Best. They go into the pits corner once again. Good action between these two. It's uh, Edmund Best who leads it from still Tom Brennan holding the second place position. Move on to lap, the last lap this time. Best lead, you've been Brennan in second. It's still Bickley who's got the third. And Anders Rowe in four. Leo Dummett is in five. That's still the top five and the best clear. Going up the lap straight for the final time. Still Brennan holds that second. Bickley has got the third. Rowe is in four. Dummett is in five. Topping in six and Topping in seventh place. As the leaders go into the pits corner for the final time in race number 11. Edmund Best takes the winning ride this time. Good ride by Tom Brennan. Moved up, of course, to the cadet class this year. He's in second place. And his row comes across the line in third. Leo Dummett is in fourth, so we've lost Carl Bickley somewhere on that uh, last lap.
Race 11 result to infant number 35, Edmund Best. Second number 7, Tom Brennan. And third number 6, Anders Rowe. 19. 3. And number 1. 1 minute 36.7. 1 minute 36.7. Right, race 12, delete 26. Addy 112, Ashton Webb. 22, Kieran Vaughan. 151, Stefan Anderson and 78, Kieran Hicks. On the line then for the second heat of the uh, juniors, should be some cracking action again in this heat of the juniors. Okay, well, everybody gets away, he's going to get the grip coming out of that start, that bike is going to that bike then making the move around the outside, Kieran Nixon, Ross Williams hold that third and fourth and Callum Walker again making a big move around the outside of that bottom corner go through the fourth place, in fact goes through the third place and looking at that second place of Max Corn. super corner there by Callum Walker, picked up fourth place on that bottom corner, he's gone through in the second place, looks like uh, Kieran Hicks has followed him through into that third place position So Jack Wright and again has stolen the march at the front, he's a long way clear and Walker has got the second corner and got the third Hicks is in fourth, Ashton Webb up to five, Rose Williams in six, Dummett is in seven, Vaughan in eight in nine, that's a nine as they go up the back straight once again. Look at the leader, Zach Bike that's got again tremendous lead there for young Zach. He impressively won the first one, he's stolen the march, very much so in this second one as well. It's still Walker holding that second place position. Max Corns has got the third action where took the four for Williams in five. Here it is, back to six. Jack Dummett is in seven, that's still the top seven. But look at Zach Viking and increase his lead with every turn of the wheel there from Walker holding that second corner again, holding the inside line, hanging on to that third Ashton Webb, looking for that third place off when he's got the fourth, Kieran Hicks still in five. Uh, Zach Viking that leads on to lap number four from Callum Walker now consolidating that second place position. That's called holding the inside, hanging on to that third Ashton Webb looking through on fourth place. Ross Williams has got five. Kieran Hicks is in six, Jack Dummick is in seven, Kieran Ford is in eight and in danger of being lapped before the uh, checkered flag comes out for well, yet another impressive win there for Zach Vitenet. It's still Callum Walker holding on to that second, he's increased his lead over Max Corns who's got the third, Ashton Webb won last determined effort on that pits corner on lap number four, as Callum Walker gets the second place. Max picks up the third, Ashton Webb is in four, Ross Williams is in five. Kieran Hicks in six, Jack Dummick in seven. Race 12, another impressive win there for number 109, Zach Vignet. Second number 82, Callum Walker. And third number 81, Max Corns. 112, 11, 78, 9, 22, and 53. 1 minute 43.6. 1 minute 43.6. Race 13. Add in number 23, Lloyd Barrett. 181, Matt Saul. 721, Sam Radley Smith. And James Shanes will be number 17 on borrowed machinery in this race number 13. He'll be number 17. Revving up then for race 13, combination seniors and intermediate. Sam Bradley's making a good start. 
Bester in his second, James James has got the third, Sam Lovey's been in four, Billy Milton is in five, that's the top five, they go up the back straight in the first time, of course it isn't Sam Lovey's but it's Oliver Greenwood has gone through into that second place, Fisherman Nathan Stoneman has stolen the march to the front, he had an impressive third place first time out, and really throwing that bike into that tough fifth corner, Nathan Stoneman has been running there, Oliver Greenwood, red flags are out, red flags are out, right down on the bottom corner, red flags are out, Right, we're, running, we're looking at uh, rerunning then uh, race number 13. We're running then with this uh, race, we're in race number 13, then it's all of the movement to the manager. Nathan Stone has gone through in the second place. James Shane has got the third. Matt Saul is in fourth place. At the top four is Nathan Stone on the shoulder of Oliver Green with these two shoulder to shoulder going up that back straight for the first time. Super action between these two. Greenwood on the inside. Stoneman again making the move around the outside of that fifth corner. It's Greenwood again on the inside. Stoneman again comes full forward around the outside of that fifth corner. Stoneman just taking the money down, making a play for that one. Second place, James has got the third. Saul is in four, Radley Smith is in five. Corns in six, that's the top six. As Greenwood gets back inside, Stoneman again, Stoneman again. Back round the outside and James is getting close in third place. Super action between these three to hit that fifth corner once again. It's Stoneman who leads them, but Greenwood holds the second. Greenwood's gone really wide. And goes through the third, second place. There is James James. He moves in the second. Greenwood will go to the third. Radley Smith is in four, Saul is in five. Corns in six, that's the top six, they've got the back straight once again, Sam Bradley Smith drops it on the entry to that bottom corner, as Nathan Stoneman clear going into the pits corner, and about to start lap number four this time then, Stoneman leads it from the change in second, Greenwood in fact going right off the track upon that top corner, and almost into the ropes upon this top corner, and that's allowed Saul to go through into third, we're racing under yellow flags at the moment, Corns has got the fourth place, so Nathan Stoneman at that pits corner for the final time in a very eventful re Oh, and Nathan Stoneman almost dropped on the exit for that corner. Second place is James Shanes. Looking for the third place rider. They seem to have lost one or two riders on that third and fourth lap. Uh, coming across the line in third place now is uh, Jack Corns. Fourth is Matt Saul. Race 13 resolved. Win for number 13, Nathan Stoneman. Second, number 17, who's actually number 93, James Shane. So James Shane gets the second place. Third, number 81, Jack Corns. 181, 311, and 110. 1 minute 38.9. 1 minute 38.9. Race 14, delete 16, 69 and 313, add in 328 Tony Nash and 333 Richard Andrews.
On the line then for race number 14, the start of the uh, solo open. Back round the outside, these two locked together, going up the back straight. Super action between these two for first and second place. Dean Cutler on the inside, Kevin Williams round right the outside line, and they're locked together still in for that first and second position. Still they're locked together. Dean Cutler on the inside pushes Kevin Williams wide. Kevin Williams has got problems on the exit from that top corner. Possibly come on there. What a great shape. That was a tremendous race between these two. But now these Dean Cutler clear at the front as they go up the back straight once again. I think that Kowalby Tony Nash has gone through into that second place position. They race up in the top corner once again. Cutler is the clear leader. So we want to make in road into that lead of the Cutler. Big Benjamin Leeds has gone through into that second place. This is great jury is back in fourth place. That's the top four then. Going up the back straight once again. It is uh, still. Dean Cutler leads from Richard Andrews next. Pushing hard there in second place, a bite between these two coming off that mid corner once again. It's got the Richard Andrews going through the inside run. One by one, it's going to go through into third place. Craig Jewelry has got the fourth place. Richard Andrews going to go into Dean Cutler. Cutler again back round the outside to retake the lead. Richard Andrews trying to stop big burst on the inside. He gets on the inside of Cutler as they go in the pitch corner for the final time. Super after between these two, it's Richard Andrews again. Place is Dean Cutler. Then places of 191. Trevor Heath. Fourth is Craig Drury. Five is number 33, Matt Gerd. Followed by 19. Number 3, Benjamin Leeds. And number 12. Race 14 result to win for 333, Richard Andrews. Second, number 57, Dean Cutler. And third, number 191, Trevor Heath. 10, 33, 19, 3, and number 12. 1 minute 37.8. 1 minute 37.8. Out there this time. Ben Isaac has made a much better start. He slipped through into that third place position uh, as it is number four, Eric Pike, who leads. Rob Snow in second. But looks like Ben Isaac has now gone through into that second place position. So number four, Eric Pike. is in five. Looks like number 18, Sam Heath in six. That's the uh, top six. They go on the back straight once again. Eric Pike still in the march to the front, Ben Ozzy now consolidating that second place, Rob Snow has got the third, Phil Spencer is in the fourth place position, that's the top four, but Phil Spencer now coming under pressure, more back to the fourth place, trying to close the gap there in second, no, third, 
third place, no in point, no under tremendous pressure. And Benazi, Benazi goes through on the inside lead, going up the back straight. Pike will try and get back round the outside of that pitch corner, but Isley has the advantage end. And Pike, who's got the second place, which will last that place, goes out to the side. Second. Well, Spencer is in seventh place. And Ben Isaac has had problems over on that far side of the track. The race leader has gone out on that far side of the track. So drama again in race number 15. As we're looking for number four. One in ride. Then 82, then Waterfield, and finally number 28. Right, race 15 was a win for number 4, Eric Pike. Second we think was number 58, if somebody can come and confirm that please. And we just don't know the number of the rider in third place. Neither any of us could pick out that number in third. Fourth was number 23. Then 189, 921, 82, 28, 35, and number one. And the time, 1 minute 48 exactly. So you could just confirm who was second in third in that race, please, it would be greatly appreciated. We think it was 58 second, but the, neither of us, none of the four of us could pick up the number of the third place rider. Thank you. A much better start. He's on the eight of three riders going in that bottom corner for the uh, first time. Bobby has gone through to second place as Hopkins leads going up the back straight. The first time Gary Southgate has got round Heath to go from the second. He's on the shoulder of Hopkins now going in South Pitt's corner for the first time. It's Hopkins on the inside. Gary Southgate round the outside. He's in the second place. It's Hopkins leads with Southgate again trying to round the outside. On that bottom corner, he's just got the third. He's in fourth place. Chapman is in five. Gregory is in six. That's the six. They go up the back straight once again. It's still Mark Hopkins and Nathan Hibbs, the manager now, but Gary South getting Natasha Bartlett in second place. It's Robin Trevor. He's hanging on to that third. He's still getting away. Mike Reed driving the outfit this afternoon, won the first heat for 500 sidecars, he's stolen a march again, the front of the second heat of the 500, Gary South again trying to close the gap there in second, they're getting away from the heat, who's got that third, Goodwin in four, Chapman in five, Gregory is in six position, that's not better, for the Mark Hopkins, Gary South again trying to close the gap there in that second place position, it's still heat, who's got the third, Goodwin is in four, Chapman five, Gregory six, going up the back straight once again. Gary Southgate's closed the gap, going up that back straight on lap number four, as Mark Hopkins leads into that pitch corner for the final time in race number 17. And Mark Hopkins is coming through to make it through the final inside car. Second place goes to Gary Southgate. Third is Rob Heath. Fourth, Josh Goodwin. Five, Brian Chapman and six, Rob Gregory. Right, race 17 result to win for number 57, Mark Hopkins and Nathan Hibbs. Second number 44, Gary Southgate and Natasha Bartlett. And third number 18, Rob and Trevor Heath. Three, 99 and 174. 1 minute 42, 
42.2. One minute 42.2. Go back to race 15. The rider in third place was number 18, Sam Heath. On the line, then, this next seat on the quads end, race number 18. On the program, it's number 68, the weekend winner, first race, the track is short. The second or the third quad, number eight has gone through the fourth, that's Sheila Downson. But it is uh, Andy Heatman, who was a winner first time out clear, going up the back straight for the first time, then. Looks like number 18, Andy Butler, I think, has gone through into that second place position, but Heatman again, already stolen a march at the front, looks pretty impressive at the front. This is number 18, there has gone into second place. Oh, the number of the third. Number nine, Mark Ramsdale is in fourth. Number eight, Peter Downton is in fifth. And 11 is in sixth place. So they got the back straight once again. Heatman is well clear at the front. So it must be Steve Nash has gone through into that third place position as Heatman is the race leader. And Butler has got the second on Shorts Nash in third. Wide riding Mark Ramsdale is in fourth place with the number eight, Chilla Downs is in five. And that's the top five with number 11, Tara Bradbury in sixth place. But Andy Heatman looking to make it two to two in the heats uh, of the Swans this afternoon. It's still uh, Butler holding that second place position. That gets closer in two with Ramsdale back in fourth, equal distance between the six. They've got the back of the so he's got that back for Andy Heatman, looks behind him, he's got a big lead at the front, he's just off coming into that big corner for the final time in race number 18, so 2-2, two to two, coming up for number 16, Andy Heatman. Second place is number 18, Andy Butler. Third place, number 1, Steve Nash. Fourth, Mark Ramadell. Five, Sheila Downs. And sixth place, Tara Bradbury. Race 18, the winner number 60, Andy Heatman. Second number 18, Andy Butler. And third number one, Steve Nash. Nine. Eight. Eleven. One minute 38.1. One minute 38.1. Race 19, delete number 55, Roger Windybank, the replacement 3 to 8, Tony Nash. Race 19, another heat of the quads. I've been running over with race number 19, another heat of the quad race. Then the 22, Jim Penn pulls on his shoulder and goes through on the outside of uh, Tony Nash. 
Jim Panther on the outside, Johnny Nash comes back up the inside, they're locked together going up the back straight the first time, Nash on the inside, Penfold round the outside, super action between these two as they die, into the pits corner for the first time, Penfold's gone round the outside line, Nash again coming back up the inside, so just across the front. That's the uh, top three, Rachel. Mother Soul is in fifth place. They bunch up for second and third. And Tony Nash now coming under pressure for that second place position. They got the back straight once again. Change of position for that second place. Elliot has gone through into the second position. Number on the outfit in fourth, Rachel Mother Soul is in five. They got the back straight once again. It's still Penfold who leads, but Elliot's definitely closing the gap there in second place. Elliot could make a big move on the inside of that pits corner, just a quad between these two. They die into that pits corner once again, but still Penfold will be back. Penfold again back round the outside, but Elliot's making it stick on the inside line. Can Penfold get the drive round the outside of that bottom corner? But Elliot leads with Penfold in second. Nash has got the third. Mother Soul in fifth place. Up the back straight they go. Super ride by John Elliot. He's come through from third to first. He leads going into the pits corner for the final time in race number 19. Penfold picks up the second place. Nash is in third. And in fifth place, Rachel Mothersole. Right, race 19, the win for number 7, John Elliott. Second number 22, Jim Penfold. And third, 328, Tony Nash. Impossible to see the number of the rider in fourth. If somebody can let us know, please. Fifth place, number 20, Rachel Mothersole. 1 minute 39.6, 1 minute 39.6, race 20, delete 4 and 16, Tony Cook's number 67, add in number 3, Andy Gribble and Nicky Owen. We've got four big chairs coming out for race number 20. The practice starts over on that far side for the uh, big chairs. Oh, take problems again. It seems to be put, made be set for take problems for the big chairs over on that far side. Can we get race 20 away this time? We've got four outfits on the line. Away they go. A bit of a staggered start. One of the lines is left on the line. It's like Joe Trout. Trout in this left on the line as he's Mark Heat. I think the lead him going to the back straight for the first time. Andy Gribble has gone through into second place. Mark Heat, of course, didn't start the first leg of the 1,000cc uh, sidecar. Andy Gribble's virtually turning it around in a circle on that bottom corner. And Mark Heat, the Keeps it going, he leads it then for Tony Cook. Trying to keep that musky win on the ground now. He's got the second place. Andy Gribble's got going again with a lot to do back in third. 
Joe Tramon then for number 26, it was left on the line, but Mark Heatley really making it count now, he's got a clear lead, Martin Davis in the chair, it's still Tony Cook in second, Andy Gribble, oh, and Mark Heatley's gone round a big way, he's down on the bottom corner, Tony Cook takes evasive action, Andy Gribble squeezes through on the inside, so... Uh, Disaster there for Mark Heatley down that bottom corner. Tony Cook is taking up as a leader now, but he's really wanted. Chance Van Gribble to go through on the inside. Can Mark Heatley get it going again? He's pushing into loose to try and get the machine started as Tony Cook leads going down the back straight. Andy Gribble, will he get through on the inside of Tony Cook? Yes, he does. Tony's left him plenty of room on the inside. Mark Heatley pushes off the track, so two disastrous rides there for uh, Mark Heatley as Andy Gribble is a race leader onto that fall then from. Tony Cook holding that to second place position. So dramatic uh, as and CC sidecar second heat again, as the first one was, but it is uh, Andy Gribble and Nicky Owen well cleared the front then from Tony Cook and Dan Crawford in second place position. So just the two finishes for race number 20, a win for number three, Andy Gribble and Nicky Owen. Second place is number 67, Tony Cook and Dan Crawford. Race 20 result to win for number three. That's uh, Andy Gribble and Nicky Owen. Second, number 67, Tony Cook and Dan Crawford. Winning time, 1 minute 43.7. 1 minute 43.7. To go back to race 19, the fourth place in the quads was number five, Steve Pantry. Right, we now move on then to the third leg, Auto Cadets and Cadets, Delete 27, and in number three, Ronnie Topping. get to look for the program and see who the sponsors are of today's meeting of course without their help we couldn't run such meetings so always have a quick glance for your program and remember support the people who support grass track racing where we go then with this auto cadet and cadet and it's Tom Brennan again making a cracking start, but then the best has gone round the outside, and his row has gone through the third. The old dummy is in fourth place, that's the top four. Going up the back straight for the first time, it's best who leads it from Brennan, who holds that second place position. Row has got the third, Dummett is in fourth, that's the top four, We're leading to again, getting away at the front. The two British champions at the front there, Edmund Best and Tom Brennan. Exit in that uh, pitch corner, completely in the opening lap, and it's Edmund Best to lead, and Tom Brennan holding that second place position, and as well having a good ride there in the third spot. Carl Bickley is in fourth, Leo Dummett is in five, only topping in six, and Ethan topping in seventh place. That's the seven as they go up the back straight once again. Again, uh, it's Best to lead it, and Brennan in second. Bickley's got that third place. As they race up the back straight once again then. The leader's coming off back to fifth corner. Edmund Best straight to front, on to lap lap, and Tom Brennan in second. Sir Anders Rowe in third. Bickley closing the gap in four. Dummett has got five. Topping in six, and Topping in seventh place. So the leader's then going up the back straight. For the final time in race number 21. Edmund Best now getting away from Tom Brennan. Anders Rowe consolidating that third. Carl Bickley is in four. The old Dummett in five. Bonnie Top in six and Ethan Topping in seventh place. And Edmund Best, will he pick up his second win of the afternoon? Yes, he does. Well, in number 35. Tom, Tom Brennan getting the second place position. And his row hanging on to that to third place. Carl Bickley definitely getting closer in fourth. And Anders row picks up the third. Carl Bickley is in fourth. And Ronnie Topping in sixth place. Quickest time of the day for that class, 134 dead. The win for number 35, Edmund Best. Second, number seven, Tom Brennan. And third, number six, Anders Rowe. 18, 19, 3, and number one. One minute, 34 exactly. 
Race 22, delete number 26, Luke Harris. Put in 22, Kieran Vaughan. 78, Kieran Hick. 151, Stephen Anderson. And 112, Ashton Webb. Aston Webber's got the third place, Jack Dummett is in fourth place, Max Corn's in five, that's the top five, they go up the back straight once again, and Zach Bightman again has stolen Amar to the front, but Ross William holds that second place position, Aston Webb has got the third, looks like Callum Walker is in fourth, Max Corn's is in sixth place, that's the uh, top six, and Zach Bightman is storming away the front end, tremendously by that, Ross William's best one of the afternoon so far, has got the second Webb, is in third, Walker is in four, Dummett's in five, Corn's in six, Vaughan, six in seven, Vaughan in eight. That's the eight then. As Zach Bightnett, tremendous performance this afternoon. These three uh, legs of the junior action. Still, Ross Williams having certainly have a good ride, holding on to second place. Aston Webb definitely getting closer in third. As Bightnett leads, can put in lap number two then. But Williams in second, Webb is up to third. Walker is in four. Vaughan's in five, Dummett's going to go to six. Hicks is in seven, Vaughan in eight. That's still the top eight. As we see, Zach Vaughan at the length of a straight clear up the front. But Williams holding that second place. Callum Walker starting to hunt down Aston Webb. That race for good in four places. As Vaughan leads him on to four then. But Williams holding on to that second. Walker's definitely getting close in third. Aston Webb is going to look on the outside. But Callum Walker's coming right round the outside. He's on the shoulder of Aston Webb now. He's a good race and on the third in four places. Uh, Zach Bright gets the length of the straight clear in the front. It's still Williams hanging on to that second. Webber's got the third. Walker making the move around the outside to go through in the third place. Can Webb come back up the inside? There's a bite between these two in that race for third and four places. As it is, uh, Bright that makes it three to three. Ross Williams gets the uh, second place. And Walker is in third. Aston Webber's in fourth. And Corn's in five. Jack Dummett in six. Kieran Hicks in seventh and Kieran Vaughan in eighth place. Race 22 result to win for 109, Zach Bynett. Second number 11, Ross Williams. And third number 82, Callum Walker. 112, 81, 9, 78 and 22. Winning time quickest for this class so far today, 1 minute 42.2. 1 minute 42.2. Race 23, delete number 17 Bradley Toffley, add in 721, 181 and number 23. Stoneman gets through on the inside of Oliver Greenwood and Leeds going up the back straight for the first time. Stoneman leads it, then Greenwood in second, Shane's in third, Billy Milton is in fourth place, that's the top four, a fight between the leading two and Oliver Greenwood making a move on the inside of Nathan Stoneman. Stoneman still with the balance company, that's the ball. Stoneman leads it, Greenwood in second, Shane's in fourth place, Gordon 
third in five. That's the top five. They go up the back straight once again. Superb performance by Nathan Stoneman again. At the front, he's getting away from Oliver Greenwood. James Shane's consolidating that third place. Milton's got the four. Corns is in five. That's still the top five. Pressure from Chains, looking at second place of Oliver Green with a dive in that bottom corner once again. Stoneman leads him and Greenwood in second, Chains in third, Milton in four, Corns get closer in five as they go up the back straight once again. It's still Nathan Stoneman was third in his first line, won his second, looks like winning his third one as well as they make up the last of the four then it's clear the ball of the green with a hold up. Close the gap in third. Billy Milton now coming under pressure from Jack Corns that race for fourth and fifth places. And Nathan Stone has dropped on that bottom corner. One in control the front with Stone has dropped in as Oliver Greenwood leads him. Going up the back straight on lap number four. Greenwood leads him and changing second. That moves, moves Milton up to four. Stone has got going again back in fifth place as Oliver Greenwood picks up the right side. Second place goes to James Shane's. And look at Nathan Stone, he was in fifth place, he's up to fourth, can he get third place? Yes he can, he rolls underneath Billy Milton's tremendous ride there by Nathan Stone and dropped it on that corner when in front, got remounted and still finished in third place. Tremendous effort there by Nathan Stoneman. Super action there in race number 23, went for number 311, Oliver Greenwood. Second number 93, James Shanes. And third, and what a performance there, the four remounts still come through in third place, number 13, Nathan Stoneman. Seven, 81, 110. One minute, 40.4. One minute, 40.4. Solo open, take break in offence on the line for race 24. Just waiting for the riders to come back in the line then for the restart of race number 24. as he managed going up back straight and Alan Film has dropped it just got through in a third place he's dropped on that bottom corner and I think may have caught a clank on that bottom corner somebody trying to get through on the inside number four Eric Pike has now gone through in a third place looks like Richard Andrews in second place is coming that's the top three that's the in fourth place we got the back straight once again then it's uh, so Clever he's the lead then. Richard Andrews seems to be slowing up there in second place. Problems there for Richard Andrews. He's been going extremely well this afternoon. He's got problems with all of the second place position. As Trevor Heath is a race they can beat that round. Far better is fine to hold the uh, second. 
out into the first Sam Heath has got the third place. Richard Andrews has got going again back in fifth place. Can he get the pair back in the machine and pick up any more places? He's got the big place now. He's racing it already. In amongst the back markers, leads on the last four. That is Trevor Heath. There's the front. Mark the four is fighting second. Sam Heath has still got that third place position. Fourth place is Darren Harris. And then got Richard Andrews goes to the and it is 191. Trevor Heath that gets the winning ride this time. Sam Heath is in third. Followed by 171. 333 Richard Andrews in fifth place. And that looks to be it. Race 24 result to win for 191, Trevor Heath. Second number four, Eric Pike. And third number 18, Sam Heath. 171, 333. And number one, 1 minute 36.4. 1 minute 36.4, the quickest time for the adult solo so far today. Race 25, delete 116, 212 and 16. Putting number 54, Ben Isley. Just had Tony Nash in for the quad, saying all the quad lads have a tremendous day today and really enjoying themselves. So that's good news in this uh, fun meeting. And um, that's uh, great to see that they're all enjoying themselves out there. That's what it's all about in today's meeting. For race number 25, red flags up, red flag. Oh, red flag again. We're hitting the red flag and we are away with the action. The bus flies up. Craig Drury is in third, number 19 has gone, Colin Harris has gone through in the fourth place, in fact, now looking back, second place of Craig Drury is, it's Dean Cutler leads him, going up the back straight the first time, rotted down on that first corner, it's Cutler leads him, and Drury in second, Harris has got the third, Rob Snow is in fourth place, that's the uh, top four. Is in six, that's the top six. Racing up that back straight once again. Cutler still with the advantage end. Benjuri trying to close the gap there in second place. He's still getting away from Colin Harris, who's consolidating that third place position. Ben Waterfield is in six, and number 28 holds that seventh place position. That's Michael Randall in seventh place. As we see the leader then going into that to Pitts Corner once again. Taking a much tighter line. Young has now gone through into third relegation. Off the back straight once again, the extra pair of Cutler Seagulls all the way going up that back straight, the Craig Drury again, making a move on the outside of that fifth corner this time, he takes it back away, Craig Drury makes a big move right there, and Craig Drury gets it, super right by Craig Drury, just picking his line coming off that top corner, Young comes across the line in third, Harris is in fourth. Randall six. And snow in seventh place. Race 25, super ride there by Craig Drury on the uh, 250. He wins race number 25, rider number 10. Second number 57, Dean Cutler. And third number 23, Barry Young. 19, 82, 28, 189. 1 minute 14.4. 
41 exactly. 1 minute 41 exactly. get near uh, Mark Hopkins this afternoon in these uh, 500 sidecars. the chairs coming into line then for race number 27 He's on the inch on in second place, Gary Southgate gets round the outside, can he cut back inside Mark Hopkins? Yes he can, Hopkins went too wide in that bottom corner, clever right by Gary Southgate, got round the outside of the heat, then cut back inside Mark Hopkins, and it's Gary Southgate at the front for the first time this afternoon. We have lost uh, Mark Hopkins on that bottom corner, we'll hold him the second place, he's got it going again. The two back markers virtually go round him side by side. Now can Mark Hopkins go himself back in this race? He's going so deep into the race bigger then. From the Robert Trevor, he's in second place. John Trevor now moves up into third place. But Gregory gets on two into four. Brian Chapman in five and Mark Hopkins working over the point. He's trying to pick up a couple of places. Six and six place from it is. And it is. Gary Sokin and that's Natasha Barkley cleared the front then from Robin Trevor, he's holding that second place. Josh Cooper has got the third, Ryan Chapman is fourth. And Gregory is in five and Mark Hopkins is amongst these. Now he's got a lap and a quarter due to try and pick up a couple of places. Gregory again retakes that fourth place Richard as Gary Sokin cleared the front then. And there goes Mark Hopkins, he's got round the edge of Brian Chapman. Will he get round Gregory on that bottom corner? Yes he does. Cruise it on when he goes too wide, he's got the loose again, he's kept the momentum going as Gary Southgate gets on his right. He's stick up the second place. Could we get the third? Mark well, Hopkins has come from six to four, turn to the power again on the inside of that step six corner, and Mark Hopkins is Race 27 was on, a very eventful race, number 27, won by number 44, Gary Southgate, Natasha Barclay. Second number 18, Robin Trevor Heath. And third number 3, Josh Goodwin, Aidan Kingsmill. 57, 174, and number 99. 1 minute, 42.5. 1 minute, 42.5. Race 28, it's... Stephen Nash, number one, not Michael.
Walk up and away then with right set of that 28. Yeah. The first time. Number 18 has got that third place. That's uh, Andy Butler has got the third place. Trying to pick a number. The second number nine, Mark Ramsell, is back in fourth place. We can uh, see that. So John Elliott is the right place. Your mother's all very stern away, and she's back in fifth place. I believe number seven. Is going to be Second is 18, has got the third, and that is uh, Andy Butler, nine, Mark Ramsdale is in fourth. And, uh, number one, Stephen Nash, we think, has now got the second place by a process of elimination. And number seven, number two, still Stephen Nash has got that uh, second place, but 18, Andy Butler has got the third. Ramsdale is in fourth and Mother Soul in fifth place. A back marker about to be lapped by the race leader is number seven, John Elliott. Still Stephen Nash hanging on to that second place. Race leader on to lap number four. It's still Stephen Nash who's got that second place. Stephen Nash will lose that second place. They've gone through on the inside. Butler goes through on the inside. It's Nash trying to get back round the outside. These two locked together for second and third. Nash round the outside. Butler again goes back up the inside line. Is number seven. John Elliott's a long way clear. Up the front of the race. Number second and third. Butler gets the winning ride. It's still Nash hanging on to that second place. The latest German effort by Andy Butler. But it's Nash who gets the second with uh, Butler in third. Ramsdale is in fourth. And uh, number 20 in fifth place. Race 28 to win for numbers, right, win for number 7, John Elliott. Second, number 1, Stephen Nash. And third, number 18, Andy Butler. 9 and number 20. 1 minute 35.9, the quickest time for the quads today, 1 minute 35.9. Right, the quads coming out for race number 29. There will be a just a short 10 to 15 minute interval after race 30 for the uh, marshals and ambulance personnel to get a hot, uh, hot drink inside them. They've had a quarter time, so it will be a very, very quick interval of just 10 to 15 minutes after race 30. Just had a set of keys handed in, lost in the top of the pits area. If you've lost your keys, they're quite small keys. So we've got them here in the PA box. to go through the leading position. Eatman leads it for Nash holding that second place position. That's the top two going up the back straight once again then. Eatman, I say, yet to be beaten. Nash trying to close the gap there in that second place. They go uh, into that pitch corner once again then. It's Eatman who leads it from uh, Nash holding the second place position. The number of the party in third. I think that's number five. Steve Tanti was in fourth place. Number eight in fifth place. That's their number 11 in sixth place. So they got the back straight once again. Eat for leisure for Nash in second. Could be Penfold that's holding that third place. Fish well over that red body on there. Eat for leisure for Nash in second. Penfold who's got the third place. Again, Nash on the inside of that second place, Penfold making a big move around the edge, and they get that second place from Nash, they look the back straight up to the off shoulder, the shoulder, Nash on the inside, Penfold again, trying to get back around the outside, gets back around the outside to go through, into the second spot, but nobody can get near, and the Eaton, look at the making 33 there, Eaton's on the quad, Eaton's leading, Penfold holding that second, it's Nash who's got the third, and Eaton's in fourth place, that's the top four, going up the back straight, once again, Eaton's 
takes a long look over his shoulder, Penfold trying to close the gap there in second place, he's getting away from Tony Nash, he's consolidating at third, but Andy Heatman makes it 3-3, three to three. in the heat of the point. Penfold picks up the second place this year, third place is Tony Nash. Fourth place is Steve Van Green. Fifth place is number eight, Sheila Downton. And sixth place Race 29 result, and it went to number 60, Andy Heatman. Second, number 22, Jim Penfold. And third, 3 to 8, Tony Nash. 5, 8, and 11. 1 minute 36.5. Race 30 then, delete number 4 and 16. On 40, number 26 has burnt the clutch out, so he will be a non starter. Yeah. And we go in with race number 30. So it's Mark Eatley leads going in that bottom corner for the first time. Andy Gribble has got that to second place position. Number 67, Tony Cook, is in third. Andy Gribble goes straight into Mark Eatley. He goes extremely wide on that to bottom corner again. But it's Andy Gribble and Nicky Owen cleared the front left. And uh, Mark Eatley holding that second place. Tony Cook has got the third. Equal distance between the three of them going down the back straight once again. It's Andy Gribble looking to make it 3-3 three three in the heats of the 1,000cc uh, sidecars. Leeds can put in that one from uh, Mark Heatley against oh, unit wide on the exit from that to bottom corner, but hanging on to second place this time. 67, Tony Cook has got the uh, third place. There's Gribble now in well clear, going down the back straight once again. It's that bottom corner they go on the this lap, so uh, holding the inside line there, Andy Gribble and uh, Nicky Owen, Mark Heatley Tony Cook has lost his pasture up on the top corner so uh, Tony realises I think Tony realises yet of course his first out, he's looking round now I think he just realises he's out there on his own Tony Cook, so uh, it is uh, Andy Gribble and Nicky Owen that uh, have the advantage going into that bottom corner for the final time and again another eventful 1,000cc sidecar race, Andy Gribble gets the winning ride, second place goes to Mark Haley. Well it looks like we're having another lap for this uh, heat of the 1,000cc sidecar, so this time it is Andy Gribble and uh, Nicky Owen that pick up the uh, winning ride, the third of the afternoon. Second place goes to uh, Mark Eatley and Martin Davis. And complete with passing this time. Third place goes to Tony Cook and Dan Crawford. Race 30 result to win for number three, Andy Gribble and Nicky Owen. Second number 124, Mark Eatley and Martin Davis. And third number 67, Tony Cook and Dan Crawford. 1 minute 37.2, 1 minute 37.2. The time now is 2.30. We would like to resume racing at 2.45. Thank you.
Well, we got in with all, we got Ronnie down at the start there, and the uh, Auto Cadet Sun Cadet, and it's Kendall Best who leads for Andy Grove in second, isn't? and uh, Tom Brunner's been a dreadful start, he's one at the back of the moment, we have lost the rider from that to top sign, it's uh, rider number one, Ethan Topping, who came to grief with Edmund Best, already well clear at the front, look at Tom Brunner working his way to the field, he's picked up four riders already to go for in the third place, and his row holds that second place position as is. Edmund Best who leads into the pits corner for the first time. Anders Rowe has got that second place. Tom Brennan now looking for that second place from Anders Rowe. They complete that one then. Edmund Best is a racer. Anders Rowe has got the second. Tom Brennan goes through on the inside and moves through into the second place. Richard is best leads him. And Brennan in second. Rowe is in third. Dickley is in four. Dummett is in five. Topping in six and topping in seventh place. That's the seven rod. Edmund Best clear going up that back straight. Look at Tom Brennan. Close the gap on Edmund Best. What a tremendous ride there by Tom Brennan, who completely missed the start. He just a couple of points behind Edmund Best. They both get round the back marker and, and move on to last lap this time. Edmund Best and four or five bikes clear of Tom Brennan. They're racing that bottom corner on the final lap. Edmund Best one in mid-track, Tom Brennan trying to squeeze through on the inside, up the back straight they go once, they're going to be the quickest coming out of that corner, Tom Brennan again very quick, going up that back straight, there's a bite between them now as they move into the pits corner, for the final time, Tom Brennan goes through on the inside, Edmund Best again making the move back round the outside, Tom Brennan comes again, back up the inside line, but it's Edmund Best who gets the winning ride, Tom Brennan gets the second, super action between those two again in the cadet class, and his row picks up the third place, one. Carl Bickley is in four. One. One. Uh, followed by uh, Ethan Topping and Jack Dummett. Another <laughs> fly then for the final hit of the junior action. Away we go. It's Max Combs on the inside of fifth place. Callum Walker again completely missed the start. He's back in about seventh place. They all bunch up for the minor places. Max Combs goes round. Three riders to go through in the second place. Ross Williams on the outside of him. And the Jack Dummel as well very much in the action. Max Combs goes through into fifth place. The Jack Bison again is away like the stalled. He's down in the front. He's absolutely flying in this junior class this afternoon. Max Combs there goes in the second. Williams has got the third. Walker's up to four. It's Dylan in five, Webb is in six, Vaughan in seven, that's a seven, and Zach Brighton you know, already the length of a straight clear at the front from uh, Max Combs having a good ride, holding that second place again, Ross Williams has got the third, Callum Walker in fourth, Ashton Webb they're looking for that fourth place, as Zach Brighton they completes another lap, increases lead with every turn of the wheel, Williams has got the second, Williams has got the third, Walker in four, Webb in five, Dummett in sixth and Vaughan in seventh place. That's the seven. They still sat fighting it. Exits that pitch corner. Takes the last lap flag. That's right. And the south. It looks like completing the juniors with a com with a very very solid maximum indeed. Max Corns having a good ride holding that second place. Still Ross Williams on the third. Five. Dummett six. Kieran Vaughan in seventh place. That's the seven. As the leader is that bike getting in amongst the back markers this time, exiting that fixed corner, impressive 4-4 four four, coming up for 109, Zach Bike now. Max Corms consolidating that second place, he's a rider going into that uh, fixed corner for the final time, Max Corms picks up the uh, second place, William is in third, Callum Walker in fourth, Ashton Webb in five, Jack Dummett in six, and... Uh, Kieran Vaughan in seventh place. Race 32, win for number 109, Zach Vignette. So your applause, the juniors come around and there's up of honour, Zach Vignette, the winner of this class this afternoon, Max Storm follows him round, now we've got Ross Williams coming round, Callum Walker, first meeting in the junior class there, he's got Ashton Webb, and Jack Cummins also his first meeting in the juniors today. And Kieran Vaughan, the rider, in his first outing with the junior. So, show your appreciation and make their way back up the pit. So, the result in a race 32, win for 109, Zach Weitner. Second, number 81, Max Corns. And third, number 11, Ross Williams. 82, 112, 9, and 22.
1 minute 37.9, 1 minute 37.9, which is only one tenth of a second slower than the quickest solo race today. Bearing in mind that's juniors against adults and his winning time there was only one tenth of a second slower than the quickest adult race today. Race 33 then, delete number 17, add in if they come out 23, 181 and 721. Where we go then with a seat on the uh, intermediate. James Shane's got the third, Billy Milton is in four, Jack Corns is in five, that's the top five. But Nathan Stoneman has stolen the march at the front, Oliver Greenwood holds that second place, James Shane trying to close the gap in third, change division for fourth place there. As we see that spectacular story of Nathan Stoneman coming off that big corner. The third course is in four. Billy Milton is in five. That's the top five. Is Nathan Sturman clear going up that back straight once again. Oliver Greenwood in second. James Shane's again trying to close the gap on the entry to that pitch corner. But Sturman has stolen in the march at the front. Will he throw that right into that pitch corner? Well clear. Take the front. Greenwood holding that second. Definitely getting closer in third. Still Corns has moved up the four. But again, Billy Milton to five. Stone went up that back straight once again. Greenwood still holds that second chain, the same distance back in third place. And Corns has got the fourth. Milk is in five. Stone will lead to the fourth. Can he hang on to it this time? It's the last of the last corner. Out of that bottom corner from Greenwood holding that second place. Change is definitely getting close in third. Two bites between these two as they go up the back straight. 40 for more time. Corns has got that fourth place. Change is quick coming out of that bottom corner as Nathan Sturman steps exactly into that top corner. Picks up his chassis. Wooden ride. Nathan Sturman gets all in ride. Oliver Greenwood has the second. Change picks up the third. Jack Corns is in fourth. Billy Milton will come across the line in fifth. And Joe uh, Miller in sixth place. Looks if the intermediates are coming round, so show your appreciation. Again, we've got lads moving up into the intermediate class during the winter from the very, very competitive junior class of 2009. So show your appreciation for these uh, youngsters. It's uh, James Shane's his first meeting in the intermediate class. Nathan Stoneman, some spectacular action this afternoon there from uh, Nathan. Oliver Greenwood, the ranked the 2009 British champion in this class. He's an ex-rider to come round. They're followed by Jack Corns, twice British champion in the juniors. And then Billy Milton and Joe Miller. Looks as if the intermediates are coming round, so show your appreciation. Again, we've got lads moving up into the intermediate class during the winter from the very, very competitive junior class of 2009. So show your appreciation for these uh, youngsters. It's uh, James Shane's his first meeting in the intermediate class. Nathan Stoneman, some spectacular action this afternoon there from uh, Nathan. Oliver Greenwood, the ranked the 2009 British champion in this class, he's an ex rider to come round. Then followed by Jack Corns, twice British champion in the juniors. And then Billy Milton and Joe Miller. Right, the result of race 33, win for number 13, Nathan Stoneman. Second, 3-1-1, Oliver Greenwood. And third, number 93, James Shanes. 81, 7, and 110. The winning time, 1 minute 32.6. 1 minute 32.6.
and that is the quickest time recorded today in either junior or adult racing. Race 34, delete 116, 69 and 313, and in 333, Richard Andrews and 328, Tony Nash. Going in that bottom corner for the first time, Richard Andrews, in fact, is tied on points for Dean Cutler for first place at the moment, so a win here for Richard Andrews will put very much the pressure on Dean Cutler as Richard Andrews leads, going into that top corner for the uh, first time there. Number 12 is in 5th, Ben Waterfield is in 6th, Benjamin Lee's in 7th place. That's the 7 as Richard Andrews roars into that 6th corner, going to stop a big lead. Bill Harris hanging on to that 2nd place. 171, Bill Harris holding that 2nd place. Number 23, definitely getting closer. Barry Young getting closer there in 3rd place. Bill Harris is number 12, Bill Harris is holding that 2nd place. Number 12 in 5, Ben Waterfield in 6th, Benjamin Lee's in 7th place. That bottom corner once again, that spectacular style of Richard Andrews. You go inside or outside the back mark, he goes round the outside. Right of falling on that bottom corner, we're racing under yellow flags. The second place man down Andrews starts his last lap. With Barry Young still trying to get close in third. Again, Richard Andrews in amongst the back mark, and on that third top corner. Putting the pressure very much on the top there. We're waiting for the second place rider, who is Darren Harris, to come. Across the line in second place. Third place, number 23, Barry Young. Then Waterfield, ne next rider across the line. Race 34 then, and win for number 333, Richard Andrews. Second, 171, Darren Harris. And third, number 23, Barry Young. 82, 12, and number 3. The winning time, quickest to date so far, 1 minute 28.5. 1 minute 28.5. Race 35, delete number 16, 212, and 11. Put in 58 Nick Mallet and 54 Ben Isley. So Dean Cutler needs a win here to keep alongside Richard Harris, but it's uh, equal leads going up that back straight on lap number one. Jury coming under pressure that third place, Eric Pike is going to be very close there. 
second place jury to go to third place jury. No relegation to fourth place. 28 is in fifth place. That's the top five of the race. Off the back straight once again. He has stolen a martyr. Front cutler is back in second place at the moment. Pike has got the third jury. Dropping back on the fourth. And fourth place position. There's still one nine one. Seven, Back markers as Trevor Heath leads in that pitch corner on lap number three. He lapped that back in the middle of the four. Trevor Heath and what's up to Dean Cutler? I think he's lost that second place and now he's back in third place then. And then he's trying to drop to the second. Yes, Dean Cutler has dropped back to third. The other two boxes on that bottom corner. Jury holds his fourth place position as Trevor Heath, well clear, going up the back straight. All the follow time in race number 35. It is Trevor Heath that gets a winning ride in race number 35. Eric Pike is going to pick up the uh, second place position. Dean Cutler will fill the third. <laughs> 18 comes across Sam Heath in five. Race 35 result and a win for 191, Trevor Heath. Second number four, Eric Pike. And third number 57, Dean Cutler. 10, 18, 28, and number one. One minute 32.1. One minute 32.1. Slow wave in the thick of the action all the afternoon. He's going to have to do it from the back this time. He's back in fourth place at the moment as Gary Southgate leads him going up the back straight for the first time. He's have gone through the second. Goodwin relegated the third. And Mark Hopkins trying to close the gap in fourth place. That's the uh, top four then. Red flag to row, that's a great shame there because Josh Goodwin has been handling that sidecar extremely well this afternoon, so that is a great shame on that top corner. going to be okay. I said his first appearance in England and of course he's got uh, very big uh, shoes to fill with his dad being multi-British champion. He has been going extremely well this afternoon. Let's hope he is going to be okay.
So the quads on the line then for race number 38. We started the leg one of the fourth legs of the quads. Everybody gets away to a clean start. Uh, so far, he does not away this time. Jim Penfold leads going into that bottom corner. Andy Eatman being led for the first time this afternoon. As Jim Penfold leads going up the back straight the first time. Andy Eatman has gone through on the inside, but Jim Penfold again trying to get back round the outside. But Andy Eatman can determine to continue with on the Andy Butler has got the third, Carson number the fourth spot, Steve Pantry is in fifth place, that's the five as they go off the back straight then once again. It's Heatman who leads then from Penfold in second, number 18 Butler has got the third place position, Steve Pantry is in fourth, it's Stephen So who's going to lead the three laps of the children, Penfold in second. It's uh, Butler in third, Nash is in fourth, Pantry is in five, that's the five going up the back straight once again, equal distance between these five quads, and Andy Eatman determined to be on beat in his superb action so far this afternoon, leads in that pitch corner on lap number three in event to take the lap number three, he's lost to the Penfold, he's got that second place position, still Butler in third, Nash in fourth, Pantry in five, Butler in third, Top three starting to get away from that good race going on for fourth and fifth places. Pantry trying to get right round the outside of that bottom corner comes alongside Nash as they go up the back straight for the Pommel time. Such impressive stuff for number 60 Andy Eatman. Pantry all the afternoon in the quads. Jim Penfold is getting to second. Butler is third. Fourth is uh, Stephen Nash and fifth place goes to Steve Pantry. Race 38 to win for number 60, Andy Heatman. Second number 22, Jim Penfold. And third number 18, Andy Butler. One and number five. One minute 32.8. One minute 32.8, race 39. Number two, Colin Hill is a non-starter. His place taken by three to eight, Tony Nash. On the line then for race number 39, the final eight of quad racing here this afternoon. Got six quads out there. Nash is got the lead then. That lead at the place quad number is not the visible at the present moment. It's definitely Tony Nash leading going up that back straight for the first time. He's coming under pressure for that leading position. They race up the top for Gwalby John Elliott, I think, has gone through on the incident of Tony Nash. Going into that to pitch corner on lap number one. Yes, it is John Elliott, number seven. Number 11 is in sixth place. That's the six there. There's John Elliott clear going up that back straight and Tony Nash holding that second place position. Mark Ramsdale has now gone through in the third place. Tony Elliott the is in five. That three is in six. It's the distance in the six. They go up the back straight once again. And uh, number seven, John Elliott, really getting away at the front. It's uh, still Tony Nash consolidating that second place. For that third place, and Elliott leads him on the four then. The Nash holding that second place. Rams down there looking for that third place. Got that third place, the guys are getting closer in four. Mother Soul is in five, Bradbury in six. We see John Elliott at the fifth corner for the final time in race number 39. Tony Nash is going to pick up that uh, second place position. Third place is Mark Ramsdale. Fourth, Peter Downton. Fifth, Rachel Mother Soul. 
on 6 Tallrat Bradbury. Final heat of the quads there, race number 39, won by number 7, John Elliott. Second, 3 to 8, Tony Nash. And third, number 9, Mark Ramsdale. 8, 20, and number 11. 1 minute 33.9, 1 minute 33.9. It looks to be moving on to race 40, the 1,000cc sidecars to the 4.26.16. Putting number 3, Andy Gribble and Nicky Owen. Tony Cook again will be number 67. And the three outfits on the line then for the 1,000cc cycle. This is Tony Cook is the left on the line as it's uh, Andy Gribble and Nicky Owen leading that bottom corner for the first time. And it's the Ghostbusters, I've been told, who are holding the second place this year. Uh, Andy Gribble leads it. Mark Eaton is known as the Go Ghostbusters there in the second place. Tony Cook can't get it going. So it's a disaster there for Tony Cook, who's managed to get there each time and pick up some places. But uh, Andy Gribble and Nicky only left home at 4 o'clock this morning to be with us right in the bottom of Cornwall they live. So tremendous effort to ride in the meeting like this. That's number three, Andy Gribble and Nicky Owen. They live at the Lizard right down in Cornwall. And they lead completely that one then from the Ghostbusters. Shape of Mark Eatley and Mark Davis in second place. Just the two big chairs going round. So I think that'll be maximum points there for uh, Andy Gribble. As he leads into that bottom corner once again. Mark Eatley, Martin Davis in uh, second place. In that one then, and the stones beginning to come up. Yes, so it's uh, yeah, Andy Gribble and uh, Nicky Owen clear then going into that bottom corner from uh, Mark Heatley and Martin Davis in second. Into the top corner, they go for the uh, final time. Mark Heatley trying to get some drive coming out of that. Then. So, outfit number three, the outfit of uh, Andy Gribble and Nicky Owen, clear into the bottom corner for the follow time in race number 40, the last heat of the big chairs, and impressive win again there for Andy Gribble and Nicky Owen. Second place, we go to one, two, four, and Sir Mark Eatley and Martin Davis. Race 40 result to win for number 3, Andy Gribble and Nicky Owen. Second number 124, Mark Heatley, Martin Davis. The time, 1 minute 28.4. Well, we go back now to race 37 for the final race of the day. Race 37, the rerun of the 500 sidecars. On the line after the rerun of the fourth leg of the 500 sidecars. Got four out to go in this to restart. And five out to the 
Hamilton has got away, that's Mark Hopkins has got away, it's uh, Gary Southgate who holds that second place position. Looks like the Heats have gone through in the third. It's uh, Gregory in fourth and Josh Goodwin back in fifth place. They've got the back straight once again then. It is Mark Hopkins who leads going into that to pitch corner on lap number one then. He's clear of Gary Southgate. in four, Goodwin is in five. Good to see the five outfits back in action. Good to see Josh Goodwin back in the play after coming up upon that top corner. But it is uh, the man of the moment of the five of the sidecars. Mark Hopkins with Nathan Hibbs in the chair. between the five outfits, they go up the back straight a lap number three, into the pitch corner they go and again the Turning out to be the final race of the day, race number 37, Rubin. He gets the one in ride. Second place goes to Gary Stanley. Third place from the Trevor Heath. Fourth place is uh, Gregory. And fifth place, Josh Goodwin. Race 37 result then, a win for number 57, Mark Hopkins and Nathan Hibbs. Second number 44, Gary Southgate and Natasha Barclay. And third number 18, Rob and Trevor Heath. Finally, the side cars come round on their lap of honour, so show your appreciation, Mark Hopkins and Nathan Hibbs. They've got uh, Rob Heath and Trevor Heath coming round, and Gary Southgate and uh, Natasha Barclay uh, coming round. Mr Gregory and Mr Chamberlain. And uh, Josh Goodwin, good to see uh, Josh there back after that spill with uh, Mr. Kingsmill in the chair. So race 37, the win for number 57, second number 44, Gary Southgate, and third number 18, Rob and Trevor Heath. 174 and number 3. 1 minute 37.2, 1 minute 37.2, and that concludes the action. Thank you very much for being with us. Please come up to the presentation in the signing on 10. A little extra presentation to do this afternoon, and it's for Charlie Patterson who's going to do 2009 South Western Centre Championship. And it's two trophies to two very, very talented riders. So could we call up first Tom Brennan? These are the South Western Centre 2009 champions. Okay. Trophy. Okay. And then the other rider we'd like up please is Edmund Best. Okay. 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 Thank you very much, Andy. Okay. Look. Robin Ed, the uh, fancy dress. And for the youth rider, the prize for the fancy dress goes to Oliver Greenwood. <laughs> oh, you can quite see why as he comes up now, so. No, uh, <laughs> 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 not me down go around, Oliver. Or are they balloons? They're balloons? All yeah. oh, right, okay. <laughs> Oliver Greenwood there, fancy dress for the youth. And for the adult, Rachel Mothersall. <laughs> and for the 1,000cc sidecars, Mark Heatley and Martin Davis, the Ghostbusters. <laughs> Oh, this is <laughs> <laughs> Rio isn't a blue Peter badge for that. Okay, thanks very much. All those who did dress up. The PA's going again. Right, we'll move on then to the awards properly. 
And we'll start off then with the Auto Cadets. In third place, Carl Vickley. <laughs> Second place goes to Leo Dummett. And the winner of the Auto Cadet class this afternoon, Anders Lund. Our men to the cadet class in second place, Tom Brennan. And the winner of the cadets this afternoon, Edmund Best. On we go then to the junior class. In third place, Max Corns. <laughs> Runner up in the juniors, Callum Walker. <laughs> and the winners of the juniors this afternoon, fantastic performance, unbeaten all the afternoon, really impressive stuff. Zach Bytnet. <laughs> On then to the Inter, some tremendous racing in the Inter. In third place, his first meeting in the Inter's ever, James Shanks. <laughs> in second place, the reigning British champion in this class, Oliver Greenwood. And the winner of the Inters was some really spectacular racing this afternoon. Tremendous performance, Nathan Stoneman. <laughs> On then to the seniors, if they are still here. In second place, Lord Barrett. And the winner of the seniors this afternoon, Matt Saul. <laughs> 500 sidecars, you get adult riders, you get your first three, you can choose four cans as well. So, uh, third place in the 500 sidecars, Rob and Trevor Heath. Robert Trevor Heath, the third place, 500 sidecars. <laughs> In second place in the 500 sidecars, Gary Southgate and Natasha Bartlett. <laughs> and the winners of the 500 sidecar, tremendous performance from two passengers, Mark Hopkins and Nathan Hibbs. Apologies for the radio mic, it was a long way to get it down there, so apologies if it keeps breaking up, but we are doing the best we can with it. So we went on into the quads. <laughs> okay, on then to the quads. In third place, Jim Penfold. We do have, in fact, equal first in the quads, equal first, John Elliott and Andy Heatman. <laughs> John Elliott and Andy Heatman That's equal me. first in the quads. <laughs> okay, 
McPherson, John Elliott and Andy Heatman. Move on then to the solo open. The solo open in third place to Lance performance on the 250. Craig Drury. <laughs> Second place goes to Richard Andrews. <laughs> and first place this afternoon, also winning the Denny Phillips Memorial Trophy, Trevor Heath. <laughs> and the final award, of course, the uh, the final awards are for the 1000cc sidecars. In third place, Mark Heatley and Martin Davis. Oh, fat boy. <laughs> Shut up, you one legged tap. <laughs> <laughs> In second place, his first appearance on the 1000 CC sidecars, Tony Cook and Dan Crawford. Yeah, we didn't spin it, did we? Oh, lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good fun, wasn't it? <laughs> and the winners of the 1000 cc sidecars, and believe it or believe it not, they live at the Lizard in Cornwall. They left home at 4 o'clock this morning to be with us. A very, very long journey. They also win the Denny Phillips Memorial Shield. Andy Gribble and Nicky Ellen. That concludes the presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being with us. Have a safe journey home and look forward to seeing the grass track again soon in 2010. Thank you very much indeed. Right, well, we were able to first race of the afternoon and the best frantically pushing towards the line as number 18. Bickley comes across line in second, Edmund Best picks up the third, number 81, Max Corsley going into that top corner, Zach Biden and Megan to move round the outside, etc. It's Max Corsley coming into the left, it's Max Corsley looking for that second place on Max Corsley race, into that bottom corner once again, Max Corsley on the inside, Callum Walker making a move round the outside to go through into the second position, and that's Oliver Green with leads going in to that top corner for the first time, big sort out coming out of that bottom corner, but Oliver Greenwood gets the grip going up that back straight for the first First time, and then three of the impressive stuff from the uh, current champion. Second Looking to work his way through. Mark Rams down there picks up that fourth place, but gets relegated back to uh, fifth place. Good race. Rachel Mother Song there out as the fairy in their fifth place. So they got the back straight once again. Three of us. Four second, third and fourth place here. Look at the leader, Zach Viking has got again tremendous lead there for young Zach. He impressively won the first one. He's stolen a march very much so in this second one as well. 
Leicester in second, James James has got the third, Sam Lovey's been in four, Billy Milton is in five, that's the top five, they go up the back straight in the first time, of course it isn't Sam Lovey's but it's Oliver Greenwood that's gone through into that second place, and start on the shoulder of Oliver Greenwood, these two shoulder to shoulder going up that back straight for the first time, super action between these two, Greenwood on the inside, Stoneman again making the move around the outside of that pitch corner, it's Greenwood again on the inside, Stoneman again comes full forward, around the outside of that pitch corner, as Greenwood gets back inside, Stoneman again, Stoneman again, back round the outside, he's getting Williams making the move, back round the outside, these two locked together, going up the back straight, super action between these two for first and second place, Dean Cutler on the inside, Kevin Williams round the outside line, and they're locked together, still in for that first and second position, still they're locked together, Dean Cutler on the inside, pushes Kevin Williams, Williams looks down to the right, that big on the inside, he gets on the inside of Cutler, as they go in the pitch corner, four the time, super action between these two, it might now under Tremendous pressure, Ben Ozzy, Ben Ozzy goes through on the inside of the league, going up the back straight. Oh, no, Hopkins making a good start, three of us, Gary Southgate makes a much better start, he's on the edge of three riders going in that bottom corner, Don Gary Southgate has got Ron Heath to go from the seconds on the shoulder of Hopkins now, going into that pitch corner for the first time, it's Hopkins on the inside, Gary Southgate round the outside, he's really making it count now, he's got a clear lead, Martin Davis in the chair, it's still Tony Cook in second, Andy Gribble, oh! And Mark Heath has gone round a big way. He's down on the bottom corner. Weber's got the third. Walker making the move round the outside. Four fighters in two. And Oliver Green were making the move on the inside. Nathan Stoneman. Stoneman still with him. He's coming in after four. One-nine-one, he finally come for the uh, first time, that's Trevor Heath, who has he going up back straight, and Alan Film has dropped it, just got through in the third place, he's dropped on that bottom corner, and I think may have caught a clanker on that bottom corner, somebody trying to get through on the inside, of the play draw again, making a move on the outside of that fifth corner this time, he's taken his back away, straight draw, he makes a big move right there. Craig Jury gets it, super right by Craig Jury, just picking his line, coming up that top corner, making a fucking start, coming out, goes on the outside line, it's Robin Trevor, he's on the inside, in second place, Gary Southgate, gets round right the outside, can he cut back inside, Mark Hopkins, yes he can, it's ready again, retakes that fourth place, Richard, as Gary Southgate clears the front end, and he's coming up. There goes Mark Hopkins, he's got round the edge of Brian Chapman. Will he get round Gregory on that bottom corner? Yes, he does. It's that bottom corner they go on the, this lap. So, uh, holding the inside line there, Andy Gribble and uh, Nicky Owen. Mark Heath, dig. Tony Cook has lost his pasture up on the top corner. They all bunch up for the minor plates. Max Corn goes round. Three riders to go through in the second place. Ross Williams on the outside of him. There's Gary Southgate leads him going up the back straight for the first time. He's have gone through the second, Goodwin relegated the third, and Mark Hopkins trying to close the gap in fourth place. That's the uh, top four then. Red flags are out, that's a great shame there, because Josh Goodwin has been handling that sidecar extremely well this afternoon.